So we're gonna try some yak burgers. I don't think I've ever tried yak meat before. So I'm gonna... We're just pounding up some steaks right now. It looks like the main thing that they do here is serve yak meat. So they got a lot of stuff on the menu that has yak in it. And now what does it taste like as compared to a cow steak? It seems like a cow, but herbal. You can say it's a herbal meat. Because it's in the mountain. How do you like your steak? Medium rare? Rare? Medium and medium rare is better. Because if you go for the uh, well, it's getting very hard and very chewy. We don't recommend it. So the owner is like, he tries to warn people not to get their steak well done because yak meat is also a bit tougher than cow meat. But one customer ordered it and they tried to stop him, but he didn't listen, so. I guess the customer isn't always right. I'm glad that we found this spot. It almost seems like it's in the middle of nowhere. We're driving in Hunza, Pakistan, and it was just on the side of the road. And the views here are amazing. You can't beat food with mountain views like this. We started uh, last uh, 2020. July. Oh, 2020, so new. Nice. Yeah. And how's business? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We didn't expect that much. It's very well. So did you ever have a restaurant background? I was working here before in Karachi. After that, Dubai. So I have a 12 year experience of the restaurant. Now I started this business with my brothers. Three of my brothers. We are our family which are running this place. So other than the yak steaks we saw him prepare, by the way, there were a bunch of, I think they were from Norway, a whole bunch of bikers that just came out of nowhere. So it's cool to see that Pakistan is getting tourists from different countries around the world and these bikers are just enjoying the twisties, mountain ranges, and natural beauty that Northern Pakistan has to offer. And I guess they ordered a whole bunch of steaks, but they also have some amazing burgers, which we will also try. And it's just simply made with the yak meat along with a brioche bun, some lettuce, tomatoes, and onions homemade fries and a nice little aioli sauce and the only thing they seasoned the burger with was salt and pepper that's pretty much it the yak is quite similar to cow but i can see what he's saying where it does taste like there's a bit more of a there's almost like a natural thyme flavor that's so what i thought it was going to be a bit dry because i saw this on the skittle for a while so i'm like oh please don't be dry but it's not dry at all it's actually really juicy all right so i asked it to be done medium rare let's try this piece right here It's actually not tough at all. And that honestly doesn't taste too far off from cow steak. I find the burger tastes a bit more different than the actual steak. Oh, well, the potatoes are crispy. I'm super stuffed. My favorite thing out of that place was definitely the burger. It was crispy on the outside. It had a nice crust. It was juicy. And it is quite similar to beef, but it does have a bit, I guess, more of a natural thyme flavor, I guess. All right, so it's about a 10 minute hike until we reach Eagle's Nest. And then from there, we should be able to see what are we seeing exactly from that point on. See the whole valley, Hunza Valley, along with Nagar Valley, and all the peaks, Rakabushi, Diran, and Golden Peaks from there. And I'm sure we're gonna see Ladyfinger Peak as well. We're here. So this is Eagle's Point, Eagle's Nest. 360 degrees of mountain ranges. Uh, I'm sweating right now and I'm out of breath. You never get tired of this stuff, right? Oh, so you never get tired of this majestic views. Yeah, you Eagle can't get tired of these views. Yeah. Eagle nest for a reason because eagles fly at a very height and this is the highest point of Hunza Valley. So all of this is Nagar Valley and all of this is Hunza Valley? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's just so much detail as far as your eyes can see and honestly, I don't think the camera does it justice, but there's just so many different ranges, cliffs and hills and greenery. Also, just thinking about those bikers from Yak Girl makes me want to get on a bike myself. Luckily, I met up with Wajahat, who, if you saw my last vlog, is the musician at the Hunza Music School and he has a little surprise for me. We met all of a sudden and of course, it was an amazing, you know, time we had and yeah, it's Derby 150 and it's my second girlfriend you can see. <laughs> So I guess this is my baby for the next day. I'll be taking this to Atabad Lake and I've been craving for a motorcycle ride ever since I've been here because the turns around these mountains are beautiful. I promise I won't go too crazy. Sorry, mama. I don't think I've ever ridden a motorcycle through 
such beautiful turns. Uh, we're just about to check in at the hotel now. So tonight I'll be staying at a hotel called Lux's Hunza and this is right on Atabad Lake. And honestly, I didn't do any crazy color correction in this video. The water is actually this blue. And for a lot of people, honestly, when they think of Pakistan, I doubt this is the first thing that comes to mind. But truthfully speaking, this is what the beauty of Northern Pakistan has to offer. I'm gonna rest up and then tomorrow, bright and early, I'm gonna try out some more traditional Hunza cuisine. Thank <laughs> you. 